Good day viewers, welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Erongo Talk. My name is Michelina Vatizas and today we're finding ourselves in Swakopmund at the Paddock Gardens. So today as per usual we'll bring you the news, weather and tides and the newly crowned or the recently crowned rather Mr. and Mr. Dana will be telling us about the changes they want to see when the school opens. So stay tuned, we'll be right back after this. Now, time for our news. The Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources, Mayor of Alvis Bay, Trevino Forbes, and members from different coastal schools and organizations attended a beach cleanup exercise at Independence Beach on the outskirts of Quisap Mond. Forbes added that he wants beach cleanups to be a regular occurrence. We cannot only clean up our beaches when there are cameras or when we have special events. It is our duty as residents of Alvis Bay to keep our beaches clean. If we as Alvis Bay residents do not do, other people coming to Valvers Bay also won't do, so let us set the example, he said. Caroline Quasses, a volunteer at the beach cleanup, said that people need to take cognizance of the environment and be friendly towards it. The ocean does not only regulate the climate, it also is a source for our marine resources and it contributes to our food security. Moving on to our second story, about 230 rhythmic gymnasts converged in Valves Bay at the Jan Wilken Indoor Sports Complex this weekend for the first national rhythmic gymnastics qualifying competition for 2022. The host of this competition is Infinity Rhythmic Gymnastics Club, established in 2015 and owned and managed by Brett Adonis, a renowned gymnast coach and judge. Seven of the rhythmic clubs in the country, with the exception of Chumep Rhythmic Clubs, competed. These clubs include Panias Park Rhythmic Club, Fentuk Rhythmic Gymnastics Club, Elite Rhythmic Gymnastics Club, Ocean View, Swakop Mund, Valves Bay Gymnastics Club, International School of Valves Bay and Infinity Rhythmic Club. Gym, uh, just pardon me, gymnastics club. This was the first qualifying competition for the year with two qualifying competitions taking place before the nationals. A gymnast will need to qualify in both competitions before competing in the nationals and be eligible for South African game selection. Adonis explained that this is the first time for Infinity to host this competition. The competition kicked off Friday morning with the level 6 and 7 gymnasts and concluded later the same day with a competition for the pre-junior, junior and senior gymnasts. On Saturday, the competition kicked off with the level 4 floor and rope routines and concluded later the day with a competition for the level 3 gymnasts. The prize giving for the various levels will take place after each round of competition. Moving on to our third and last story for the day, and now for some Afrikaans. Tijdens een gemeenschapvergadering in Swakopmund het raadslid Blasius Korasai van die Landless People Movement LPM verneem dat 125 grad 1 leerlinge by die Atlantic Union Secondary School weens een gebrek aan klaaskamers nie gedierende school ere ere klasse kan bijwoon nie. Korasai het by Jebbe Construction aangeklop en die maatskapie het ingespring om die school by te staan met die omskepping van een stoerkamer en een klaskamer tegen een koste van 38.000. Die leerlinge kon voorheen slechts middagklasse bijwoon, maar sere die begin van mei kan hulle gedierende 
gedurende gewone school hier een school gaan in die eerste week van mei het laarschool vrede rede reeds 90 van die leerlinge gehuisvest om klasse bij te woon dier een palonten stelsel te gebruik. Die oorblijvende 35 leerlinge is by AJSS geaccommodeer. Koras het pas verreeg toe Jeppe Construction aangebied het om die stoer in de klaaskammer te ontskep. Omskep. Jeppe Construction ondersteun onderwijs reeds een geruime tijd en het onder meer die schoolgebouw van een van Swakopmoense laarskoole geverf. Die maatschappij is ook bij een organisatie op haar handes betrokken wat elke jaar schoolboeken verspreid. Ik smeek diegene wat kan om onderwijs te ondersteunen het Jepo Constructions stichter Boetoe Eikowap gepleit. AJS is een hoof en my epinge het haar blijdskap uitgesprek. Hierdie kinders kan ons sog in school toe gaan terwijl hulle nog productief en energiek is. And now, stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Hello viewers, I'm joined by Leonie Locke, who is the Miss Dana 2022. How are you doing, Leonie? I am doing very well. I'm just, I'm also very excited. Yes, definitely. Okay, lovely. Uh, now, uh, before we start with the serious questions about your plans for the year as Mr. Dana, mm -hmm. how do you feel? How does it feel being Mr. Dana? I mean, I can only imagine uh, what it brings. It's a lot. It's a lot of attention, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like I've been getting a lot of attention recently, mm -hmm. but it's also very exciting. Like I said, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And have you always wanted to be Miss Dana? Honestly, it was just a try. I wasn't really expecting it, but it's. I really appreciate it. Okay, lovely. And I'll get into the more formal stuff. Um, you mentioned before before you became uh, Miss Dana. You mentioned that you'd like to see kids reading more at the mm -hmm. library. Um, can you tell us a bit why you decided to um, come up with that? Like, really? Because reading, reading is really fun for me mm -hmm. and it doesn't only teach you about the story behind, like the lesson behind the story, but it also, um, it also strengthens your brain by improving your vocab. Yes, definitely. Lovely. And how do you uh, plan on ensuring that at the school library, how do you plan to um, ensure that kids read more at the school? So, um, m me and Miss Lucas, we decided on holding a book sale mm -hmm. when school reopens. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because like when we reopened the library, a lot of books were like they were put in boxes because there were so many. And me and Miss Lucas think making the library interesting, we like had to have like a five dollar book sale. Mm -hmm. And I would also like take it into my initiative to um, supply a reading passage every once a month as my responsibility. Okay. And, and who exactly are your target audience? The whole of the day now. The whole of the day now. Yes. Okay. And when do you uh, plan to put this plan into motion? Definitely when school reopens. When school yes. reopens. You guys are currently busy with exams? Yes, but yeah. Okay. Now finally, what message would you like to share with uh, the viewers out there? perhaps on the importance of reading? Okay, a message that I would like to put out there on the importance of reading is that an emphasis on reading and student literacy um, helps develop higher levels of focus and concentration. It also helps us relate to other people's feelings and encourages us to be kind and be considerate about other people. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm joined by Giovanni Catambo, who is the Mr. Dedene 2022. How are you doing, Giovanni? 
I'm good. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Now, before we start with the formal questions or the serious questions, um, how does it feel being Mr. Dana? Mr. Dana. Uh, first of all, I'm very proud of myself. Mm. And I thank God that he, he gave me that, that power and the courage to do this. Mm -hmm. And have you always wanted to take part in Mr. Dana? Always, always. Yeah. But then <laughs> I was a bit shy. Oh, you were a bit shy. Yes. And do you have plans to take modeling further? Of in course. The future? Of course, of course. So, what other events do you want to take part in? Mr. Namibia. Mr. Namibia. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, getting to the more serious stuff. Before you got um, crowned as Mr. Dana, you said that you'd like to start a cleaning campaign. Of course. Yes. Uh, why did you decide to come up with that? Why? Uh, because to, let me say, nowadays, the most things the kids do is litter. Yeah. So I decided just to start a cleaning campaign to help the teachers and the cleaners at school. Okay. And, and who's going to be helping you in this uh, campaign of yours? I have my class. You have your class? Yes. Your, your classmates? In my classmates. I already spoke to them. Oh, okay. Uh, and when do you plan to put it into effect? As this term was too short, mm -hmm. I have plans for next term. Next term? Yes. Only. Okay, uh, finally, what message would you like to share with the viewers out there? Maybe on perhaps the importance of uh, a clean environment, a clean and healthy environment. Uh -huh. The message I would like to give is uh, a clean place keeps all of us healthy. Doesn't mean if I want to start a cleaning campaign, I must do it on my own. Mm -hmm. I have to get help from others. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's all. Let's keep it clean. Cheers. Thanks. and I would just like to give you guys some studying tips for the upcoming examinations. So what works for me, like before, like whenever I, before I start studying, I always start by reading the Bible, like I just get a scripture because, you know, you need God's wisdom before you continue with the school. So yeah, I first read the scriptures and I always read the Bible, and then I read the Bible scripture. And then after I'm done reading the scripture and then I pray. Because you need to speak to the Lord so that He can give you His wisdom and all that. So I would first advise you to read the Bible scripture and then pray and then do your schoolwork. And then after you're done doing your schoolwork and then you pray again so that God can give you know, all that information back in your head. And what I would also suggest is that whenever you get notes in class, like just go and revise your notes. But don't wait until you are going to write an essay. Straight after you're done writing notes, just go and revise them so that they can like sink into your head. And yeah, always put God first and pray and then... Hard work plus God equals success. Yeah. Have you received a loan from NASVAV? NASVAV loan is the same as any other loan. It must be paid and settled. NASFAV has a set of guidelines on how you can repay your loan and become debt free. Therefore, it is important that you, a former beneficiary and a responsible Namibian, show your patriotism by helping pay back your loan and thus helping NASFAV become a revolving fund for the benefit of future potential students. 
By failing to pay back your NASFAF loan, you risk being blacklisted or having a court order against you. So arrange with the fund to pay back your loan today. For more information on how you can repay your loan, visit our website at www.nasfaf.na or visit our Facebook page or Twitter. Do the right thing and hashtag pay back the money. Now for your weather, sunset at the coast will be at 24 minutes past 6 on Tuesday and sunrise will be at 20 minutes to 8 on Wednesday. While this bay will have a maximum of 19 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 9 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius. A 17 knot south wind will prevail. Swakopmund will have a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 9 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 19 degrees Celsius. A 15 north south southwesterly wind will prevail. Hantins Bay will have a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius. A 15 north south southeasterly wind will prevail. Arandas will have a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 6 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 26 degrees Celsius. A 30 knot south south easterly wind will prevail. Osakos will have a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 3 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 27 degrees Celsius. A 11 knot southwest wind will prevail. Karibup will have a maximum of 21 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 3 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 26 degrees Celsius. A 30 knot southwest wind will prevail. And lastly, Omaruru will have a maximum of 23 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 1 degree Celsius and a maximum of 27 degrees Celsius. A 9 knot west southwesterly wind will prevail. Platts Amir is a landmark on the coastline of Namibia, a home to quality shops and quality restaurants, a select variety of fashion and food retailers as well as banks, not to mention the pier with 36 luxury apartments and entertainment for the whole family. Find us at corner of Tavorite and Albatross Street, Vineta North, Swakamunda. Call us on 064-462-242. Visit platsamir.com.na or at Platts Amir on Facebook. Platts Amir, enhancing your coastline experience. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our episode for today, but we'll be joining you again tomorrow, same time, but definitely not the same place. If you'd like to read the stories I read today and many more, please visit our website on www.irongo.com.na. I repeat, www.irongo.com.na. 
www.ngo.na. If you'd like to send uh, us a text message or you'd like to inquire about something, please contact us on our WhatsApp and Telegram number, which is 011-7040. I repeat, 011-7040. And if you'd like to watch our shows online, please head over to oneup2.com. I repeat, oneup 2 Dot com and we are also on DSTV for DSTV channel 285 and channel 94 for Go TV. If you'd like to send us some tips for news, please send an email to newstips at irongo.com.na. I repeat, newstips at irongo.com.na. From myself, it was lovely chatting to you. We'll see each other again next time.